Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Wee's GNZ Gaming and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go in some of the description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video now this video is all about on how to install and update your cyberpunk mods now recently i did upload a video six months ago and that video was called on how to install cyberpunk mods for the first time now this video over here is pretty much outdated so it's pretty old but with this video here that i'm showing you now it's all about how to install and update your mods i'll be installing and updating cyber engine tweaks and even the appearance mini mod so with that said make sure that you download the latest version for cyber engine tweaks make sure that you download the manual version Next, download Appearance Menu Mod and make sure that you download the manual version. Once you have completed that, we can get started. Now, just to let you guys know that if you have been following me on my Cyberpunk tutorials, then you would know what to do. But if this is your first time installing Cyberpunk, okay, then you will need to follow this tutorial first before you do anything. I will leave this tutorial in some of the description below. Now go to your Cyberpunk game, right click and open file location. Now, inside your plugins and Cyber Engine Tweaks and mods, okay. Now, there is two ways, okay, two options. You can do this. You can either delete the whole thing and now redo it all over again or you can copy your mods folder, okay? And now do it from there. It's up to you, but with my version, okay, I'm just going to delete the whole thing and now just redo it all over again. But if you do have heaps of mods in here, then I then it's up to you, okay? But it's really up to you guys, okay, to do it, okay? Not me. Then go to your bin folder. Now, make sure that you do update your game first before you do anything really important update the game first okay now this is the old uh, game okay my old one as you can see it says cet old so right click and rename it to cet old okay now once you have done that we can just delete that now because we don't need it now once you have done that okay just right click on your time 64 folder right click copy then right click again and paste all you got to do now is just right click rename and name that to CET now this is your new modded folder over here okay your new folder this is your old folder now go inside your new modded folder okay now delete the crash reports and now let's start installing the mods. Now, the first mod that we need to install is Cyber Engine Tweaks. So, open up your Cyber Engine Tweaks extract folder. So, go to your bin folder. Go to your Time64 folder. Now, select your plugins folder and your version and global. Okay, and license too, really important. And now drag all the files and folder inside your folder over here okay and now replace it oh well 
I gotta replace it, but I don't, don't know if you guys gotta replace it. Now my game is fully updated with some engine tweaks, but no mods. Now, remember when I told you these two options? You can either just re-download the whole thing over again, or you can just start again, okay? So, you can either do this, okay? Go to your old game folder, go to plugins, go to cyber engine tweaks, go to your mods, and now you can just copy the whole thing and now paste it into your new folder. But, warning, the teleport and the native settings, those two may need to be updated, okay? Because these two does have files outside of the mods folder. But the simple menu and the better Opticorp camo does not have files outside of the mod folder, so you can simply just drag those to your new one, okay? But um, yeah, I'm just going to delete the whole thing, okay? So yeah, here it goes, guys. I'm just going to delete the whole thing because I don't need it. So right click, delete, and then now it's gone. So if you're gonna do this like the way that I'm doing it now, then go to your CET, go to plugins, go to sub engine tweaks, go to mods, and now let's start installing our appearance mod menu. Now to install the appearance mod menu, go and open up your appearance menu mod extract folder, go to your bin, go to tick 64, go to plugins, go to sub engine tweaks, go to mods, and then now simply select your appearance menu mod folder and drag it inside your mods folder. That's it. Now go to your Cyberpunk 2077, go to archive, go to PC, go to mod, and now all you gotta do is go back to your extract folder, go to your main menu, go to archive, go to PC, go to mod, select all the files, all of it, and drag it inside your folder over here, inside your archive folder, and replace. There you go. And now exit out of your appearance mod menu. And now we have finished installing the mod. Now before we do anything, okay, go back to your bin folder, go back to your CET new game folder, then go back to your cyberpunk.exe, right click, and now go to send to, and send the exe to your desktop. Then exit out of your game folder, then now here's our one over here. Now go to this one over here, right click, and delete, because that game does not exist. And then replace it over here, then right click again, rename, then now rename the shortcut to C, I mean, C E T. There you go. And now when you go over here, right click, open file location, it will open up your main folder there. See? So there you go. We have finished installing and updated the game. And now we're in the game. So I think I don't know where am I? I think I am on. Lucy's roof, yeah I am. Lucy's house roof. Oh, okay. To open up the menu, okay, it all depends on the key that you have pushed. So let's open up the menu and here he goes. Uh so it's cool. And here he goes. This is the appearance menu mod. It still looks the same. Uh there's a, a few changes. Uh go to tools. Um, yeah, freeze time, god mode, enable god mode, and to give you guys proof, let's go in enable god mode, okay? And uh, let's go in, and now I can run. Now let's run and just jump off. And I did not die. So, yeah. I was right up top there. But yes, the mod does work at K100%. And I did not crash my game. 
everything is still fine and uh, we're back again so hope you guys do enjoy your mod now like what I said before that uh, there was two options option number one you can either replace your mods folder into the new mods folder or you can just completely delete your whole old mods and then now just start again now how I did it is that I just only started again because I just can't be bothered replacing things bit by bit and it's just too much work for me but it's up to you guys you can replace it if you want to it's totally up to you I'm not trying to force you and it still works if you do replace it just make sure that you know what you're doing okay but like always if you do need help or support then just let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out there on that or if you do need fast reply and fast help then join my discord server and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that okay or if you do need help and support for any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk then I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well so with that all said if you guys did enjoy this video smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and I'm out Thank you.